It's Friday! Fuck, I've been working hard. Gee, this is tremendous, I'm telling you. This is what we've been doing. This is what I've done this week. We got this truck in. He didn't want to change them Pantino on this thing. He wanted to make it, leave it old, but yet the bottoms were rusty and had been fixed before. I made some videos to show how I did it. Um, I took it all out of this hood of this car. Or it's a 1950 Mercury hood. It had black paint on it, so that's the hood that we chose to take all the material out of. So we've taken old metal to fix this old truck. And how I done it was, I had a piece of paper, piece of paper, transfer to a piece of metal, bead rolled it in the bead roller, bent the lip with the, with the brake, and did a little bit of shrinking to make them round. Like this, on that, in, that little half inch lip. We made the door skin, we made the cab corners, we made all the way around. Take a look at it there, sexy. That's all just stitched on. But we give it, you know, a brand new bottom. Anybody can do that. There's no reason why anybody can go, don't have to have a hot rod. Didn't have to buy anything. Had an old hood up there, took all the pieces off that, got the body line back in it. I want to show you something. When you look at the back of that cab corner, that truck, that's folded down there, smaller at the bottom and bigger at the top. When you take a, a pattern, a piece of paper, you never know until you make that pattern. Like most people, you just cut a piece of metal and try to wrap it around the corner. But that's not going to work once you start to learn how to make patterns. Once you learn how to make patterns, you'll see after you draw that out on that truck, when you have a pattern, you have something to go by, when you pull that off, you'll see the curves in it. And you would never guess that by looking at it. So that's why I like to make paper patterns. And that's all that was, just paper patterns on each piece. There's even how I put the three quarter inch bend that goes on the inside. You know? Um, and I had to do that quickly. You know? There's not big money, like, that has to be done quickly. I cut all the panels off the inside of the doors, cut all the panels off the inside of the doors. Now we're just going to go in here and try to do a little bit of body work to that. And then we're going to probably clear coat it with, or he's going to, we're going to try to talk him into clear coat it with like uh, just a spray bomb. And then we can get that all looking the same color, hopefully. And then we'll have old metal and an old truck which will really look good. Have a good Friday! I thought this would be a cool little video. Uh, we're gonna replace all the bottom on this little Model A. Um, it's, it's been fixed before, but we're gonna replace it again. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it all off. It's got no body line on the bottom right now where they did the repair on it, you know, it was an old thing. They just wanted to keep her going, I imagine. Anyways, we're gonna put the body line all the way along the bottom. We're only gonna cut up so far and just take out what we can't, what we, what's necessary. And the way I'm gonna do it is, or the way we talked about it, um, he wants it done with, well, I told him I would do it with, with old metal. And that way there, we're not gonna restore this truck. He just wants to drive it with it looking old, but he wants it welded up good. You know, he wants a good, you know, salt truck. So we're going to make these patch panels out of this hood to fit that truck. And uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised. It'll look awesome, I guarantee it. Um, this is how I'm going about it. I take a piece of paper. Same thing I always do, eh? Make a piece of paper and make a pattern. So I've made a pattern on this thing. And I've just been here and I've traced that off. My, my, my uh, piece is going to fit in here. There's my body line from there to there there to there and this is my three-quarter inch I'm gonna fold under now I'm gonna make two of those two of these because I can I'm gonna take and make one this way on the other side I'll have to flop it over and do the other side but I still have a pattern right there so nothing to it so I'm gonna cut this out of this hood take it to the little bead roller there roll that little that little body line in the bottom of it there's the break right there I'll bring the 90 over at the bottom if it needs a little bit of this, then I just put it in the shrinker and I just shrink it a little bit. 
So I'll use three tools, the bead roller, the brake, and the shrinker to make that go around. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trace this off real quick to show you how I do it. Another thing too, you know, when you're doing something, take your time. But when it comes to the point where you're doing work for somebody else, or it comes to a certain point in life where you have to try to become fast. So all the little tricks that I'm doing and all the little things I say, if I don't sand body fill in between, or if I don't, if I use coat hangers to weld up a gap, uh, just all that stuff. And all that stuff is, is for me <laughs> to be faster, to get this stuff done. Uh, what costs the money is the time. The time costs the money. So any way you can do it faster, I suggest get on the old wagon and make it faster. This is a hard business to make a living. Believe me. And all I'm doing there is making a ground. Just scratch it off the, the paint a little bit. That'll give me a ground. I've got fuse problems already. More I haven't got a good ground. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You what? The reason I'm using this because you get the job done faster. I can take your mini grinder and cut that. Cost you five bucks, 10 bucks every time you use one. But I'm just trying to be faster. I'll cut all the pieces out of that with, with this. You know, gotta be fast. If they don't find you handsome, they should find you handy. lip on there. I'm going to bend a three-quarter inch lip. There's, our, there's my three-quarter inch lip right there. We can clean that up with the, with the little grinder after, you know. But this is my this is my line to put my bead on. So I'm going to put the bead on now. Somehow, some way. This is a hard thing to do like with one person. You, you pretty well got to have two people. So somehow, some way, I'm going to throw that Maybe I might be able to do it myself. I might be able to. No, I want to go the other way. I want to go the other way. Something about body work. You always have to pay attention to what you're doing. You always have to pay attention. I always have to pay attention. There we go. You hold on there for me, baby. I just want to make sure I get it. Maybe you can turn it at the same time. It doesn't turn that hard. Sexy's going to turn this for me, too. God, I love her. does everything for me. Just go slow, baby. Does everything for me.
it was everything for me. When you find that person that shows you the respect that you love, love them back. There's our line. Hey, okay. good, eh? Love it. We're going to bend it here. I know where the line is because the tape's right there. That brother can do taxes, that'd probably get you in trouble. There's there's the bottom of his truck. Huh? How do you think of that? Who's your daddy? So now we just gotta get that cleaned up so it fits, and we'll just stitch that on quickly. Get it all the way around, then we'll make a decision what it looks like and where we're going to go from there. But that's how simple that looks. And I'll do the exact same for the door, all the way around the back, and on the other side. You see where that's straight? And all I have to do now is I put that in the shrinker there. And when I call it the shrinker, when the shrinker does it, it grabs the metal and it pulls the metal together. A stretcher grabs the metal and pulls it apart. So to get this to go like this, I would put it on here and pull the metal together to shrink it, to come make it round like that. So we got a little bit of this. We'll show you more as we go. Like, that's how easy it is. Thanks, babe. So what I've done is to try to make this job go faster, I've cut everything out with the plasma cutter. You know? I just cut it with the plasma cutter. A little grinder here, plasma cutter here. The next thing you know, fitting that on there like that. And that's what we're gonna do all the way around. I can do it, you can do it! <laughs> Anyways, what am I doing here? Oh you want me to put that on? Lost my lost my place there for a second. Clean that up a little better in there. But that's how we're gonna tack it all on like that. Looks good. I'm in love with it. God bless his heart. Can't knock him. At least he was doing something. <laughs> Yeah, so I got the bottom of the door ripped off, or got it cut off, and I cut it off with the plasma cutter. I didn't cut it off the grinder. I'm trying to do this quickly and reasonable and get it done. So I cut that off the plasma cutter, had a hard time, there was some tire inside. There's another panel that we made. We made it out of paper. Me and my little helper sparkle sexy, same like, you know. Um, I'm just gonna fit this up on now. Slide it up on there. 
and tack it on the front or see how it fits. I should run the yarn over the edge of this. See, to get these, get these skins off, what I usually do is I just got the edge and take the grinder, grind that edge off, grind that edge off, and they usually pull right off. That's the way I do it. I don't know how you do it, but that's my suggestion. See what happens. See what happens. I had it halfway on here earlier and I forgot I had to do something. stitch that up. We don't want to warp anything. We don't want to, we want to do less work to it as possible to make it look the best as possible. That's my thing. We want it to look old in my opinion. And that does it. Let's go have dinner, baby. Let's go have dinner. 15 minutes past dinner time. That's how devoted I am. I had to get that damn piece on. That's how it has to roll. Have a good Friday.